you could tell me about the vision that Uber has for self-driving cars. Sure. So we want to self-driving vehicles, both both trucks and cars, are part of our our broader vision to bring uh, transportation as uh, to everyone everywhere. Uh, so we have. Uh, when self driving trucks, we have an opportunity to extend that not only to everyone and everywhere, but to everything, uh, to move goods uh, around and between cities. Uh, and we feel like self driving vehicles are a piece of our uh, the sort of broad deployment of that of that uh, system. So they're an extension of our the work we've done in ride sharing. If you're looking at self driving cars mm -hmm. um, or vehicles, are there big challenges in the way? Oh, absolutely. This is. This is an enormous uh, and ambitious sort of technical endeavor, and we've really we've brought together both in San Francisco and in Pittsburgh uh, a pretty tremendous team of roboticists, of machine learning experts, of tremendous software engineers to work on uh, this enormous challenge. If you could tell me a bit about Uber's technology and how it's different from what others are working on. Sure. So the, one of the big things that uh, that we focus on is how we can build on top of the ride sharing network that we already have. So. Uh, you know, we're we're intending to, to augment and to uh, to add to the ride tracing system we have, uh, which is uh, you know like one of our one of our sort of big uh, assets in this in this uh, in this in this area. And uh, and in a scenario when you have multiple self-driving vehicles on different platforms sure. on the road, is it going to be necessary for uh, those platforms to start speaking to each other? Sure. So that's that's a it's a really good question. Um, it's uh, we we don't we don't uh, depend on it. So right now we need to we need to see and we need to interact with vehicles. That we have no guarantees would have that sort of sometimes called V to V technology. So we don't assume that any of that stuff is you know it will exist. And we're uh, sort of approaching it, uh, assuming that that won't exist. However, if as as that stuff sort of emerges, we'll be you know happy consumers of it. You know that that certainly is. Uh, it's helpful to you know to have vehicles transmitting along sort of other uh, you know transmitting information about themselves uh, to other software and vehicles. It's great talking about this kind of a technology mm. in a country like the um, <laughs> yes. a country like the states. Yes. But um, uh, is it even being thought about for a country like India, where you know even with drivers, it's a chaotic experience on the road? Sure. So it's a, certainly certainly a, cha a chaotic driving. Um, our ambition is to bring this uh, everywhere. Um, that uh, that presents a, a whole slew of new challenges. You know, those uh, uh, those sort of uh, you know, uncontrolled and different sort of uh, conventions around driving, as well as just different volume of, of vehicles, uh, you know, bicycles, other other folks out using those those roads. So those are certainly more challenging situations, but they're they're situations we think we'll be able to we'll be able to tackle. They won't be the first places where we where we go. Where you know we'll we'll look for opportunities where we. Where we can uh, deploy this tech, uh, where we can deploy it safely, and then we'll work to expand it from there. How long it took to come to this, uh, you know, to this point from from the beginning? Sure. So uh, we opened the advanced technology group uh, in January of 2015, um, and Auto uh, uh, is around a year old as well.